a little warm out there today. Oh, just a little bit. Did you cool things off tonight? Yeah. Uh, cooling off a little bit. We've got a few storms to talk about as well as we take a live look outside on the Coronado.com Valley Skycam. It's quiet here in Fargo, and it's still pretty warm out there, and it's going to be warm as we head through the rest of the evening. It's 82, but check out that heat index. With a dew point of 73, we've got a heat index of 87 degrees at this hour. Warm, muggy temperatures. They'll continue throughout the overnight hours. Winds out of the southeast at 14 miles per hour. We'll continue to see some breezy conditions as we head through the evening hours. Also 82 in Grand Forks and Langdon. 84 in Devil's Lake with some storms not too far away from you folks. 71 over in Bemidji. 73 in Wadena. Earlier today, earlier this evening, this storm just north of the, uh, just south of the climax area bubbling on up well north of the Fargo-Moorhead area that pushed off toward the east and quickly weakened. But we've got some more storms to talk about in parts of the northern valley. We're seeing some showers and some thunderstorms, mainly weak, but a pretty decent storm. We'll take a closer look at these up in northern Minnesota. A few showers, very small showers and some isolated thunderstorms out there. Those continue to drift off towards the northeast and then off towards the west. Western Benson County, a pretty decent storm here. That moving off towards the north, if it holds together, well, parts of town or county, you can see some uh, rumbles of thunder as well. And these will be remain rather isolated as we head through the overnight hours. So don't be surprised in northern Minnesota and our far northwestern counties to see a few showers and storms. Some of that stretches down into parts of South Dakota and even to western Nebraska. We're going to keep our eyes on a storm system right now that's moving out of uh, Colorado. That's going to give us a good chance for some storms as we head through the day tomorrow. I'll show you that on the hour by hour forecast. We head through the overnight hours tonight again. A few isolated showers or storms in the far northern valley. Then, as we head towards tomorrow morning, this is a change from what we were showing earlier this evening. Some showers and some thunderstorms developing in the southern valley. Those will continue to move off towards the north as we head through the uh, morning hours and into the afternoon hours. Some of those could be on the strong side, dumping some locally heavy rain as we head through the afternoon and evening hours could see a redevelopment of some of these showers and some thunderstorms and some of those particularly later on in the day could be strong and perhaps even severe. Those will continue to push off towards the east to our far eastern counties by late tomorrow evening. There is a risk for some severe weather in the yellow, a slight risk, a little bit lesser risk, marginal risk in the dark green. The uh, risk side of these storms primarily damaging winds and damaging hail and there's also a very low risk for an isolated tornado or two, and this will probably get fine-tuned as we head through the uh, day tomorrow. So keep it tuned to the latest forecast as you start your Labor Day weekend. It's going to be stormy not only tomorrow, but it looks like right on through your Saturday, Sunday, and even early on Monday. Here in Fargo, we're going to start off with right around 70 degrees, and we will have a chance for a few showers and storms developing as we head through the afternoon and evening hours, and the best chance for a strong or severe storm will be late in the day with temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 80s. Stormy weather tomorrow. Even stormier on Saturday, more locally heavy rain possible. Same story on Sunday and cooling back down. Some upper 70s on your Sunday, and you think that's cool. Check out Labor Day Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Highs in the low 70s and lows more fall-like 40s. And then slowly warming back up as we head towards Thursday, back into the mid-70s. So some active weather as we head through the next few days. Do keep yes. it tuned to the latest forecast and keep that Valley News Live weather app at the ready. And hopefully not too many storms this weekend. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. And I'll mow my lawn tomorrow morning early. Yeah. I'll be okay. <laughs> May maybe. Uh-oh. Maybe. How? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still ahead for us tonight. Gas prices. Why, you might be able to celebrate even more this Labor Day weekend. But first, some real world proof that a new HIV pill is effective in preventing the infection from spreading.